so let's say how it works in the art studio so if you just look at the expression for the distribution of your sample mean it is the mean with mean mu and variance is sigma square right so we will write the same expression so here we have the four function we have the four approximation right so we consider the four uh, vector of y either you can take empty vector or you can take the numeric with loop that is also fine okay this is another way of uh, creating a vector that is uh, like we are here we have considered the loop so this loop is already written here loop okay so one can instead of taking loop you can create a directly y1 with empty vector and you can take one two three hundred three thousand observations in here also this is the, that is also fine okay so it's not like you can stick with one code but it should give the same results that is important so what you have to do here so here i'm creating a four uh, vector because of the four approximation okay and so for the first one i'm 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 uh, generating 6000 observation with mean 5 and the variance is uh, sigma is 10 okay having 3000 loop so for so we have to create a loop so i have to generate the observation from the normal with n n means 6000 and we are creating uh, we are creating a loop for 3000 observations okay and i store it in i'm storing that observations in y i means y1 i so y1 y will be what it will be the mean of that uh, mean of that observations but look at here the mean and the square root of the sigma remember we not write always a mean variance variance we are not supposed to write we are here we are supposed to be right square root of your sigma okay don't forget this part so let's run this okay why because y1 y2 y4 we have y of considered because we have the four uh, approximations and now we have created uh, y1 vector so if you want you can look at this y1 vector also or if you want you can write here y1 it will give you the all observations which is there in the look at this so these are the observations you have generated from given mean right given mean 5 and the sigma is 10 so now let's plot this with the histogram so here we have y1 x-axis and probability will be on y-axis which is we have assumed true okay and the main will be the distribution of x bar and your x lab x lab means you are writing in x axis you are it is the normal distribution look at this so if you just observe the shape of the distribution here the shape of the distribution is approximated to normal so that is this this is the basically the distribution using the central limit theorem okay because sample size sample uh, sample size you consider large suppose just give the sequence here and just look and just plot the normal curve here so we have created a temporary sequence here which is maybe 0 to 6 because lower range is 0 upper range is you can say 5.5 so you can take up to 6 with create so this is this means creating a temporary sequence okay and you can now draw the that temporary sequence with normal with this temporary values with mean and square root of and this is the distribution of your x bar okay so x bar sigma upon n we have written a sigma upon root n okay <clears throat> so just uh, do it for this one just check the curve for this and look at the curve so it is it approximating this distribution and just look at the legend here so you can just put the legend is using the delta method so this is the using delta method you have you have drawn this particular curve so here this was your original distribution of your x bar and this is basically you, you have used the delta method and uh, you have drawn this line okay so based on the delta method you have calculated the each probability value at 5 and uh, sigma square upon n means it is you can say sigma upon uh, sigma square upon n, which is same as this because here we write a square root of that function okay so at each value we are calculating the normal distribution and plotting this distribution so this is basically using the delta method okay 
a similar procedure you can do it for y2 also okay so let me just copy and paste the entire thing because this is going to be the same let's check it for uh, y2 or you can write inside this also there is there is no problem with this okay so for example let's say you are writing here only so one distribution will be y1 let's say another distribution you can say y2 y2 of i under this i am writing my distribution of what is that what is the y2 ka distribution it is square root of your mean correct you are interested for square root of your mean that is your second distribution mean of your x okay third distribution was which is creating y3 which is the it is mean square right so mean of x cap 2 so this is a square distribution similarly y4 you can generate y4 will be so in 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 one loop i am creating a four uh, your four of the sequence okay So in Y4, I'm creating the next sequence, which is uh, square root of N X bar minus mu, right? And X bar square. So we have to write like this only. So S Q R T of your N into into the mean of your X minus minus your mean so mean we have assumed the mu right plus sorry plus uh, x bar square so again mean of x cap 2 so this is my four sequence i like four approximation And now we can run this. So we have seen for uh, the first one. Let's check it for second one. Let's check it. This is for y2. Y2 means understand y2 means it's a square root of your x bar. With same sequence you can consider. So let's generate this. Uh, let's draw the histogram for this. So look at the histogram. Just create a temporary sequence. And now here your uh, you have to consider the different mean, huh? Because you're creating for y two. So what is your mean in that case? It is sigma sigma upon sigma square by four and u. Huh. So sigma SQRT of your sigma four time mu into n just check if that is right or wrong huh? because this you have to write in practice so is this right so with with yes, mean we, yeah no no but mean is also going to be changed okay so have to have to see everything huh? sqrt of your mean is also there because it follows mean with mu not simply your mu otherwise if you write simply mu now then the distribution it's it won't be follow normal 
you can check it might be changing with the things okay so you can just create the sequence or here if you observe it start with two so if you start with four the shape is not going to be matched with your shape right so you can you can, you can change this sequence according to this particular uh, normal distribution see if you just plot this see how it looks or suppose you just plotted this It will not show you here because because your sequence start with four, so there is no there is no exist four here. So shape is might be somewhere uh, the beyond your curve. Okay, so we need to change this particular sequence value also. Okay, so make sure that this is this this is all you should. So this you have to change. This uh, you can take up to three or two point five because uh, because it is two point two six. Now this is two point two six, so we can take up to two point five. Because see, this is a finally the range of x. This is normal distribution. Make range up consider करते हैं like this value to this value. So उसका shape में ही आपको data मिलता है. वैसे आपको ये value sequence value आपको वैसे consider करने पड़ेंगे जो ये shape में दिखते हैं आपको. Okay. So this this is using the delta method. This we can generate. We can just calculate the line. Now look at the line here. Not showing. Just to clear everything, then we can do it. Let's draw the histogram. Are we getting these answers? No, sir. So we are creating this sequence. Start with two. Okay. <clears throat> Means and with square root of your sigma upon four this is correct new new is written correctly correct new is correct so it's correct on n. So it will be square root mass square, right? Hmm. Just a second. Okay. So if you just assume this is sigma square is ten. So this is the square root of your sigma two. So this will be square root of sigma. Okay, sigma square is ten. So square root of your sigma square, correct? Just say my sigma only. Let's generate that to get here. The first one we are getting. So first one is no problem. Like distribution of your first one. Second one, 
second one what is the changes we did here just check the changes because of might be changes we are not getting so y2 is a we are drawing for the second distribution of your x bar with probabilities to distribution of this and the distribution of normal x temporary it is 2 to 2.5 with changing of this sequence drawing line with temporary with this norm d norm square root of mu comma square root of I think I have closed everything properly here, but it's an order. Uh, okay. Can use entire thing, so maybe then. I think now it should work. Let's see with this y2 some predicated line. Yeah. See, where's our mistake? We have done square root of my sigma. Then it is sigma. Sorry, you can take sigma two, not sigma. It is sigma two upon square uh, that is n basically, right? And then you take square root of entire thing. So it's a square root of your sigma square upon four mu n. So if you don't use this bracket, if you're not using this bracket, it will assume some other quantity and it will not compute the values. Okay, that therefore these lines are not creating properly. So now you can just check it whether it works or not. Create a sequence, create a line. Let's start from here. Histogram, temporary sequence. And now you can see the line. So you can see, look at the distribution of x bar. Uh, that is your root, root of x bar and this you can give it a top legend so it will be easy so this basically line will be using the delta so this is the way you have to just uh, check the error and all okay similarly you can take it for the next one next one kya hai aapka isme abhi mu square sigma square huh? so i'll just take it again copy of this so this is y3 Let's draw with this first. So now if you just look at here 23 to 26. Okay. So these sequences you have to create with 23 to 26. Okay. So make sure that this is important because if you just change the sequence, then only graph will be shown. Otherwise, it is not going to be shown. Okay. With uh, water points you want to consider. Okay? Then uh, the mean will be simply your mu square. So this you have to do it student. Now this you have to practice and get it done with this. So this is your mu cap square. Okay. With square root of your uh, sigma square. Now I have to just change this. I have to change this. Okay. So it's 4 mu. 4 mu into sigma upon n. Okay. So this have to change. This is going to be square root of four time mu square, right? So it is mu cap two into sigma square sigma two. Okay by n so it is simply n. close the bracket one close the bracket another one for d norm then another one for line i think there will be three brackets now just try to get this let's create a sequence then get that line look at the shape of it so you have to work according to this code students. Okay. Then top right, you can use left, left, right, uh, 
top light or you can use always a top left that also it works okay. use top left then it will be just like this side so it will shown here so this is just a like legend of this particular so this use this this curve is using your delta method so look at the distribution of this particular um, x bar square so it exactly follows the out approximately to the normally distributed okay you can take it to the last one Y four. i hope you're getting this all yes sir what about other students other students for my satisfaction go to chat box write down why if you are understanding this entire four graph how it looks whether it is matching or not we need to little change in your uh, 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 codes go to chat box i don't know if you understood so mu square then we have So square root of one plus this, right? The square root of that is one plus this one bracket one plus. It's two upon root n, the so two mu, right? So two into mu, two into mu upon sqrt of n square root of n is there, and a whole thing that means this bracket cap square. Look at the bracket how it works. Huh? Into into sigma two. That is a sigma square. And then close the bracket for square root. Close the bracket for d norm. Close the bracket for pm. Then automatically that error is go uh, go goes away, right? So just check this way always. Okay, then only you can uh, recognize your syntax and all. Means where exactly I'm getting the problem. Um, look at the here 23 to 20. Okay, we have not plot the y4. Let's plot first y4. So your y4 15 to 35, correct? So according to this range, you have to consider. So you can take it from let's say 10 to 10 to 40, for example. I'm creating that sequence. So this is 10 to 14. Drawing the line. And creating that legend. So suppose by mistake you forget to write this. Suppose you consider this main is mu. So what happened to graph? Look at the graph. Can you see this graph? Because here yes. the yeah, because here distribution is not coming uh, normally distributed. Okay. So we have to take the proper scale, uh, proper uh, with mean and proper with the sigma. Then only it will show you the graph for the normal. So if we do it, so this will the graph for the normal. Okay. So understand how it works for this particular problem. You can you can consider that another example for the binomial. The binomial also you may uh, so many time you have observed. So uh, for the binomial, suppose you consider. Um, Let's consider n is 500, okay? And uh, sample of size, for example, you're considering, uh, let it, let's call 20, okay? And let us consider, because you have, we have a two parameter, 
so you can consider p also p is uh, suppose 0 0.3 okay so by clt one can get the mu what is your mu mu is nothing but it's n into p right so it's size into your parameter p similarly you can get the variance which is sigma 2 which is nothing but what it's your n that is your size you can say the so size into p into 1 minus p correct so so once you did it for this then you have a loop also so i'm going to just copy the entire thing from the above one which is let's consider 2000 loop this time okay Why is error is coming? Okay, I've used comma here. We have semicolon, so it will not give you syntax. So now I'm generating the uh, looking all the distribution in the case of binomial. So in the case of binomial, if my size is uh, n is n is twenty and p zero point three, okay. So I am generating three hundred two thousand loop and uh, creating the with sample of size sample of size with 500 okay so let's uh, let us generate this i'll just copy and type no need of uh, going again and again here so you can just take it here same thing just look at the shape of the distribution whether it is matching or not okay so let's generate first this uh, creating a y1 loop y2 loop and so on y1 y2 y3 y4 then creating a loop i think it's going to be same no change then y1 only here you have to change i guess uh, that sequence because it depending upon the sequence value so it is 6 to 6 to ah, okay 4 to 6 that is fine i guess this this first case is fine okay it's not fine so thoda sa change karna pade you can take this 7 Look at the shape of the distribution. Okay. So, this is the way you can always uh, try with these uh, sequences and all. Okay. You can take another one. Y2. Now, look at the sequence. So, again, it is coming same. You can take Y3. 